Hi there, it's Coach Yvonne here and I want to talk to you quickly about dating etiquette. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago I was out and I met a guy and um, he bought me a drink and after we talked, we talked for a little while that night because I was at an, at an event, at a venue, listening to a band that was amazing. So we talked about that and we just, you know, exchanged small talk that night and he wanted, he wanted to keep in touch so that we can get to know each other better. So we exchanged numbers. Okay, good. So as the night progressed, I observed him because you watch people when they're in front of you because you have that eye contact you can watch their facial expressions and all like that but then you observe them when they're not in front of you so I watched him you know work in the room and I observed some things and a couple of things caught my eye that I didn't like and I kept it in the back of my head and when he came back over to me to talk some more and wanted to buy me another drink I brought one of the things up to him and I watched him and I could tell he was lying because I'm good at reading people and you know when somebody's lying that's why you need to look in people's eyes Okay, so um, so he called me, and um, I missed his call twice, and I thought about his age as well, because when he met, he told me his age, and he's not so old, you know, I could do it, but I don't want to do it, right? So when he called me, I missed his call twice, and I said, you know what, I'm not going to avoid this guy until he stops calling me. I'm going to be honest with him. I'm going to have the courage, and I'm going to call him back, and I'm going to tell him that his age is out of my league. And I'm going to talk to him about what I observed that evening. And I did. And he said thank you because he wasn't aware of how his actions um, looked to me and possibly how they could look to other people. You know, someone else, if he's out at another venue and he meets someone and he does that same thing, that might not go over too well. So the point of this is, you know what? I'm sure that there's been times when you've met someone and it started off, you liked them, and then they did something that turned you off and you decided that you weren't going to engage them anymore. That's fine. What I don't believe is fine is how people handle that. Most people avoid or they lie. They make something up and they don't tell the truth. And when you don't tell the truth, that person goes out and is repeating the same behavior and they're probably not understanding why the dots aren't connecting with the people they meet. So another example would be the other night I was watching a show on TV with a woman that's looking for love and she has the help of a matchmaker and after her dates she the matchmaker the matchmaker talks to the dates to find out how the date went and you know XYZ. And I remember watching recently and the guy on the date to the date was tough and he thought the woman was rude and she was critical and he felt like she was just there to break him down. So now the matchmaker can go back to her client and say, this is some feedback that I'm getting from your dates and this is how you need to show up and these are things you need to work on. And hopefully the client will take the information and become a better person. Since we don't have matchmakers, well most of us don't, hell I don't have one, we need to be honest with each other so that we can be better people for our relationships. Get it? So the next time you meet someone and they do something to turn you off, don't avoid them. Find the courage to speak the truth and love.